Welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to be making a pizza ravioli bake. So we need to make our pizza sauce to go for our ravioli bake. So in a saucepan, I have got three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Very large onion chopped up. And we're just going to saute this for about two or three minutes. We're going to put in about two tablespoons of cement garlic. Or you can do a little bit of garlic powder in your sauce to make it started. With it. And we're just going to saute that for about two or three minutes. And then we'll come back and we'll pour in our tomato sauces and our spices and everything and let it simmer all together. A six ounce can of tomato paste. Now we're going to come in with two 20 ounce can of tomato sauce. You can use the crushed tomatoes. You could do the whole peeled tomatoes and let them break down. And this is the no added salt. So I'm going to put my own salt in. Two tablespoons of Italian seasoning. Two tablespoons of dried oregano. Two tablespoons of dried basil. Some black pepper to taste. Two teaspoons of some salt, because remember this was no salt tomatoes sauce. A couple pinches of some sugar to balance it out. That's totally optional. You can leave that out, and I'm using Splenda. You could put red pepper flakes in here. Instead of the minced garlic, you can do the garlic powder like I mentioned earlier. You can come back on any of this seasoning. It's totally optional for you. And then I'm just going to let this on a low simmer. And let it simmer for about 30 minutes. And then we'll come back and put our ravioli bake together. Alright, I got my casserole dish here and I sprayed it a little bit with some cooking spray. And I'm going to put a little bit of the sauce down in here. And then we're going to come with our mini round cheesy ravioli with ricotta and romano cheese. Don't come in and mine thawed out a little bit. It's okay if they're frozen. Spread them out a little bit. Sliced pepperoni. You could totally put any other pizza toppings you like, like black olives, chopped green bell pepper, green olives. Um, you could saute you some sausage up or hamburger. You could even put it, the meat in your sauce. Come with a little bit of mozzarella cheese as much as you would like. Then we're going to come with a little bit of Parmesan too. Then we're going to top it with another bag of the cheese raviolis. You can get the square, the round. You can even get the little tortellini. Then we're going to come back with some more sauce and cover. We're going to repeat the layer. I want to make sure they have lots and lots of sauce. I hate our dry pasta. I'll go some more mozzarella. This is going to be your final top layer, so I'm going to extra cheesy on top. Totally up to you. Final layer of our pepperoni. I made a big batch of sauce, but I knew I wasn't going to use all of it in the in the ravioli bake. So the rest of this I'll put in a quart jar. And then Friday we'll probably make pizzas. Pop your casserole into a 400 degree preheated oven and we're going to go probably go about 35 to 40 minutes. Okay our pizza ravioli bake came out of the oven. Now we're just going to get some out. Look at the cheese. And I'm going to serve it with some green beans and some garlic bread. So there you have it. Pizza ravioli bake. My way, you could you could cut this recipe in half. We're going to be eating all this for two days. And then whatever is left over freezes perfectly. And then just put it back in a small casserole dish. Maybe sprinkle a little bit more mozzarella cheese on top. And pop it back in the oven. And when we're back up, you just got to, when you pull it from the freezer, just thaw it out a little bit. And bake it. You're ready to go.